Everything in this universe is made up of some combination of the four magical elements, air, fire, water and earth. The fire element is associated with will, personal power, and creativity. Fire is also the actional and motivation part of any creation and manifestation. Magically speaking, once you've developed the idea of what you want to create and done the planning part using the air element, it's time to move into fire, where you take action and endeavor to bring your creation into being. Fire is associated with the direction south, which is also the direction in which we perform all major spellwork and creation. Fire elementals are called salamanders and reside in campfires, wood stoves or anywhere there is a fire. Specifically, fire corresponds to energy, power, will, desire, anger, pain, motivation, radiance, passion, initiative, aggression, limitation, endeavor, activity, creative, willingness, urge, inspiration, excitement, courage, bravado, compulsion, fanaticism, frustration, resentment, rage, freedom. If you want to affect any of these areas in your life, then you need to work with fire. Unlike air, which has only three colors, fire has six major colors. Sun yellow, spirit fire, creativity, radiance yellow orange, motivation, excitability, activity red orange, anger, pain, fever, aggression, drive bright red, courage, bravado, will, endeavor deep red, passion, flow electric blue, all bands, initiating force on galactic or universal levels. As with the element air, you can use the element fire to adjust various aspects of your life. For instance, if you consistently wake up with the Monday morning blues, try adding sun yellow to your environment. For instance, you could start dressing in sun yellow, burn a sun yellow candle or put a sun yellow spread on your bed. All of these sources of sun yellow will nourish and feed your spirit, increasing your spirit vitality and chasing away feelings of gloom and doom. Sun yellow also feed any hole in the soul feelings you might have, and which you might otherwise try to fill with food, sleep, or other numbing pleasures. Sun yellow is literally a spiritual jump start. More about salamanders. Harry Potter played with salamanders in his movie, and so can you. Salamanders occur around fires, such as wood burning stoves or campfires. They are ball shaped, pick up the energy of the fire, and become visible. You will see a ball-shaped dome in certain parts of the fire, and ashes will fall around them, not on them. They are useful to have around as they increase the level of heat, making the fire hotter with less wood. If you leave an inch of ash at the bottom of the campfire, it will encourage the salamanders to stay in the campfire, which makes it easier to restart when you return. To keep salamanders around, bed down your coals with layer of earth, it provides an air insulator that they can burrow into. You can dig them out later, and easily restart your fire. A candle flame will spit out little sparks called sprites, which are actually baby salamanders. You can catch them in baby food jars and they will stay glowing in there for 30 or 45 seconds. If you open the jar during that time, they will jump back into in the candle flame. Have fun! And if you want to find out more about this issue, check out my scholarly blog post. Link to the article in the description http colon slash slash manifestation dash magic dot blogspot dot com slash p slash magic dash key dot html thanks for watching